In this Douglas College Library tutorial, we'll learn when to cite and why accurate citing habits are the best means of avoiding plagiarism. So, what is plagiarism anyway? According to the Douglas College Learning Center's guide on the topic, plagiarism is a form of academic dishonesty. It occurs when you present the words or ideas of another person as your own, without giving them the credit. The best way to avoid plagiarism is to acknowledge your sources by providing citations for them. Let's begin with what you always need to cite. You must provide a reference anytime you use someone else's words or their ideas. You even have to cite yourself if you reference work you've submitted in the past. Now, this sounds clear enough, but can be a bit confusing in practice. Let's look at some specific examples. If you directly quote another person, whether their work appeared in print, online, or even if you heard it in person, you must cite their words. Rewriting someone else's words or summarizing their ideas, known as paraphrasing, isn't your original work, so you will need to cite every source you've used. And yes, you do have to cite yourself if you use words or ideas from previous papers or projects. Check with your instructor first, though. Many instructors do not permit students to use past work in their current assignments. So you may be asking yourself, do I have to cite every word in my paper? Fortunately not. You don't have to cite your own original ideas. You also don't have to cite statements of general knowledge. General knowledge is defined as the type of facts that you can expect the average person to know, such as the sky is blue or the name of the prime minister. So. Now that you know what you do and don't need to cite, the next thing to think about is your record keeping. Make sure you keep track of your sources right from day one, so you don't forget to cite any of them. An easy way to manage your sources is to start a Word document and paste in the basic citation information for every source you're even thinking about using. If you don't wind up using something on your list, you can always delete it later. However, be cautious about relying on citation generator tools from the internet. They can be a time saver, but aren't always accurate, so you'll have to proofread the citations they churn out very carefully. This is all really important because claiming another person's work as your own, even by accident, violates the Douglas College Academic Integrity Policy and prevents your readers from being able to track down your sources. In this tutorial, we explored the sorts of information that you have to cite, what you don't need to cite, and suggested an easy way to keep a record of your sources. If you have any further questions about when to cite, you can check out the Avoid Plagiarism link on the library's Cite Your Sources page, read the Plagiarism How to Avoid It guide from the Learning Center, or contact a librarian.